Hi, welcome back to Marissa Explains It All. Today I'm going to be showing you a haul video. I went to both Ulta and Sephora and picked up a few things and I thought I would share what I got. I'm going to start out with what I got at Ulta. Um, I had gone there for things that I need and I pretty much stuck to my list. So good job for me. Um, <laughs> it's not something I typically do. So I'll just get in to my Ulta stuff. So quintessential, got to show the Ulta bag. And it's a really big bag considering I didn't buy all that much stuff. But all right, let's see. Now, if you saw my empties video, I repurchased some of the things that I ran out of, and one of them is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I typically like the red one. They didn't, um, it's for people with red hair, but they didn't have it. So I got this one, and this is the flirty, floral and flirty blush scented one. Then I also needed a face mask because I tried to do masks once or, t uh, once or twice a week, and, um, I had run out of my last face mask and I tried to repurchase that one but I couldn't find it. So I got these two are Freeman which they were only $4.50 so I got two of them and the first one is the Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask and it's that there and the mask itself is blue and it smells, I actually just used this one last night and I really like the way it smells, it's like a clean um, crisp scent and it is a blue mask which it's kind of fun, you know, make yourself look like a smurf. And um, I noticed my skin did feel a lot smoother and softer afterwards. And it this is the Clears Pores and Smooth Skin, and it's good for all skin types, the Freeman. Again, $4.50, so pretty good. And then this one that I got is also the Freeman, and it was also $4.50. And it is Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask, and it's a dual action purifying mask. So this one is more for purifying and let's see is it yes it's a black mask it looks like it has little scrubbies in it um, it smells like like the charcoal cleansers um, we'll see how I haven't used this one yet so we'll see how this one works so those are the two masks that I picked up and those are the items that I specifically went to Ulta for so these next two items aren't necessarily items that I went for but you know I got, I, come on, let's be honest, am I, did I really think I was just going to get this stuff on my list? Um, the first one is this eye crayon, I, it's an eye and eyebrow pencil, it's in the shade mint green. Personally, I wouldn't wear this on my eyebrows, but hey, to each his own. And um, it is just a mint green eye pencil. Next thing, I've been wanting for quite a while, and I honestly don't know why I finally bit the bullet and got it, but it is the, I do know, that's a lie. I went over to the Too Faced display, and I tried this on my hand, and it feels really good and moisturizing, and it is the Too Faced Hangover RX um, Replenishing Face Primer. Not a silicone-based primer. The thing I liked about it is that it feels like a lotion, a really thin lotion. It's white um, when you squeeze it out of the tube. It's not like a typical primer that would be like silicone-based. So that's what it looks like when you pump it out. I'll just show you guys here. See, it's like a lotion more. So I'm pretty excited about that because at my age, I have problems with uh, fine lines and wrinkles and it makeup settling into my fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm hoping this will help with that. And the last thing that I got at Ulta are um, these Palladio rice papers, blotting papers. I needed these. This is another um, item that I went specifically for. And I've never tried the Palladio ones, but I asked the... Um, there was a guy working at the benefit as a benefit representative and he approached me and asked if I needed help and I told him I needed blotting papers and he told me that the Playdio ones were his favorites. Yeah, they feel, actually they feel pretty, like a lot thicker and I know they're really affordable. I don't remember the exact price but Palladio is a really affordable brand so let's see how these work out. So that's everything that I got at Ulta. Not a lot of stuff but I, nonetheless I wanted to share it. Now moving on to Sephora which is the exciting part because the Ulta's haul was things that I needed, not as, I don't know, you know, it's like getting socks and underwear for Christmas. So I'm going to start off with my Kat Von D stuff that I got and they had the Metal Crush eyeshadows displayed but they didn't have all the shades that are available. They only had, let's see, I got four. I They had five out but I didn't get one of the shades. So the ones that I got are the purple one in the shade Danzig. 
There's the purple one. And I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Purple. Let me swatch it here on my arm. It is a purple and it has blue shimmers in it. And that's what I liked about it is that it was different because it wasn't just like a straight matte purple or just a straight shimmer purple. It has blue little glitters in it. And then the next shade I got is this green shade called Iggy. And green and blue are not my favorite shades to wear. Although, I mean, admittedly, I do think I wear them pretty often for someone who claims to not like to wear them, but it's because I like the artistry of it. I like the, to play with color and everything. Um, but these shades just drew me in. I mean, this green shade Iggy, look at it. It's so fucking beautiful. It's a really metallic, I mean, can we just, wow, that is so pretty. I swatched them in the store, but then swatching them again, I'm just like, I'm so glad that I got these. So let me go ahead and whip it down there for you. So it's like a bright green. So pretty. And this blue one, again, I had no intention when I had seen the shades, this blue one wasn't one that I was interested in at all. But I swatched it in store and I was like, uh, yes, it is called Paranoid. And it is a bright ass blue color. And again, it's like the green where it's a really metallic shade. Super bright. So... There's Paranoid. Really bright, beautiful blue color. Not something I normally would be drawn to, but after swatching them, I just had to have them. The last of the Kat Von D shades that I got was the one that I wanted the most, and this is Raw Power, and it is a cranberry shade. There. And these are the kind of shades I'm typically drawn to that when I see any brand that releases them. I'm like, yes, cranberry, I want that. So that's the cranberry shade, Raw Power. And there is a swatch of it. So pretty. Ugh, can't wait to use that. So those are my Kat Von D eyeshadows. Now, the last Kat Von D item I got was this um, lipstick in the, sh it's the Studded Kiss lipstick in the shade Adora. And I was actually over at the Kat Von D display looking at, for the new liquid lipsticks that came out. Of course, all the new shades were sold out, so I wasn't able to pick any of those up. But um, I swatched this and I fell in love with it because it is a metallic red shade and I don't have anything like it. I mean, look at that. It's a metallic... I don't know if it's picking up exactly how metallic it can show up, but in the store with the fluorescent lights and everything, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. A metallic red lipstick, um, and it is a matte. It's matte, but yet metallic. The next couple of items I got, I got two of the Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipsticks, and this one is in the shade After Dark, and this is the one that I wanted most when I saw when I saw them being released. So this one is a great, and I picked it up now because I know it will sell out in the fall. But it is this really pretty metallic-y, it's a matte, it's kind of like that Adora, where it's the one I just showed you, where it's matte but yet metallic. Berry shade. So I can't wait to wear that for fall. And then this next Urban Decay Re Matte Revolution lipstick is in the shade Temper, and um, this isn't one that I had even recalled seeing, but after swatching it, it is this like pumpkin orange, burnt orange color, and again, it's I try to get stuff that's unique or different to something that I already have, so that is Temper there, and it's just this burnt orange shade. So those are the two matte um, revolution lipsticks that I got. And the last two things that I got at Sephora are from the Stila new fall collection that they released. And I really had restraint and didn't buy all the eyeliners that I wanted um, because I wasn't trying to spend, you know, all of my money. <laughs> but I got the shade Smoky Quartz. And this they're called Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner. And they're a unique formula because they aren't gel liners. Um, they're like a liquid liner, but they come with a little like sponge. I don't know if you can see in there. They come with this little sponge inside 
and it has liquid like inside the tube here, inside the pot here, and then you squish down onto kind of like an old old school style pen uh, with ink, like from back back in the day. So I'm just gonna dip a brush in here. It's like this sponge, and then here is the shade Smoky Quartz. I'm gonna swatch it here for you. And it's a really unique shade. Again, it's not like anything that I have. It is like a taupe kind of a shade with shimmer, with like silver shimmers, kind of a foresty green taupe shade with shimmers in it. And just from, just from swatching it just a couple seconds ago, I mean, look, it's already not moving. It's already like not coming off my hand at all. You saw me swatch it here, um, so that's promising. The last item that I picked up at Sephora is the Stila Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector. And it is, in, I got in the shade Light. And it is basically like a concealer foundation all in one. And let's see, what's it say? Perfect your skin with natural matte, undetectable coverage that looks like skin, not makeup. It's bouncy to the touch, has unique moldable texture that minimizes the appearance of pores and offers moisturizing properties. It says to apply alone or to layer over liquid foundation. It comes in this packaging compact here with a sponge and then it has a case over it so that it doesn't dry out, which is always nice. And then that is the shade light. Let me swatch it here for you, although you might not be able to see it. It has like a, it feels like a cream product, but like a powdery cream product. I don't know, I feel like you have to touch it to know exactly how it feels, but there's the shade light. That's everything that I got at both Sephora and Ulta this time around. So if you like my video, go ahead and like and subscribe and you can see more of me later. Okay, thanks. Bye.